Yeah, 3D printing gives you a lot more room to experiment and to, or even if you're sort of like quite confident, to do more organic forms and shapes. Of course, if you want a square, we, you, we can print a square. But I think what you sort of find is like curves and organic forms and sort of more natural tectonics end up feeling somehow more comfortable, more human, more safe, more warm, more inviting. And sort of as you, you, you walk in right away, you see this is going to be a, uh, a three bedroom unit. And so we, we have like one of the bedrooms here. And so like, you know, right now without the roof on, you can't quite tell that it's, a uh, you know, how, how the sort of the logic of the home will work. But each, each volume of the home is essentially a circular space. I mean, most hotels are contained within four walls. And a lot of times you are building the same unit over and over and over again. I've never been able to build with uh, so, such little constraint and such fluidity. And um, just the curves and the domes and the parabolas, it's a crazy way to build. You know, the, the base mixture is a, is a you know, it's a, it's a little bit secret, so I, I won't give you all the, the formula, so to speak, but it's, uh, in, we've restricted ourselves to a list of like sort of globally and ubiquitously available materials so that we can do this all over the world and do it affordably all over the world. So no exotic materials, no super expensive materials. And then sort of the magic happens in the admixtures that allow us to continue printing. This printer has now been running for like something like 36 hours straight. Um, and it allows us to print, you know, overnight, last night it was like 55 degrees, and today I think the high will be 85. And so the material behaves differently in different humidity and different temperature and different levels of irradiance. And so actually we're like adjusting the ingredients in the mixture in the formula ever so slightly about every 15 minutes so that we can continue printing uh, literally sort of rain or shine. Most people on the street don't understand it when you say 3D printing. Like, how does that work? Are there a bunch of little Xerox machines printing plastic parts that, you know, like it's, it's, it's something that you have to explain to people. I don't think that'll be true in the next few years. I think people will start to become familiar with 3D printing. But a hotel, I think, is always a great way to be exposed to something you might not be exposed to at home.